Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to another KW Command training video. My name is Marty Miller with Summit Property Group in Houston, Texas, and today I wanted to record a quick video with regards to your marketing profile and your photo there uh, within. So if we come over to the drop down box next to your name in the top right corner, you're going to get to the settings menu. And from within settings, you'll see marketing profile. And when you go to set this up, the recommended photo size for your headshot is 360 by 360. Same with team logo. So if you have a headshot that needs to be resized, well, I'm going to show you how to do that on a PC using a program that's installed on almost all Windows based operating systems called Paint. So you'll see I've already resized this photo, but I just wanted to kind of walk you through the process that I utilized. So <coughs> excuse me, come down to the bottom, type in the search for paint and we'll get the paint app. You're going to find that headshot that you want to utilize. And here's my original headshot. And you can see it's much larger. And if I had actually uploaded this headshot, you can see down here at the bottom, it says it's 958 by 960. So that would have been too large. If you already like your headshot and you're perfectly fine with what it looks like, the first option is to come up to resize and you can click on pixels. Make sure that main as maintain aspect ratio is clicked and change that to 360. You'll see it changes the bottom to 360 and click on OK. I now have a headshot that is 360 by 360. However, I know in command it posts our headshots as circles, number one. Number two, if I were to post this headshot in that circle, I feel like it might cut off part of the top of my head, side of my head, um, it would make my head look really small. You wouldn't be able to really re be able to see me very well. So what I want to do is I really just want to crop kind of my face and maybe the top of my shoulders to be my headshot. So I'm going to start here. Now you'll see down here at the very bottom in this little blank box here, numbers are going to start to appear based upon the area that I am selecting. So I click on the select tool and then let's just say left shoulder. I want to come down and over. My goal is to get those two numbers in the bottom to match. So they should be equal in uh, height and width. So if I scroll up, you can see the number on the right goes up and down. If I scroll right to left, the number on the left goes up and down. So basically, I'm looking to find a square that looks good on the screen and yet is approximately the same size. So here we go, 188 by 188. If I choose that, Right, I've got the majority of my head, I've got some of my shoulders. I missed the tie, but that's okay. I can go ahead and click on crop and see if that's what I like. I think that's a pretty good sized headshot. So I've got it 188 by 188, and yet I know I need it 360 by 360. So if I click on resize again, pixels, 360 by 360, it changes that because I already had it 188 by 188. So by maintaining that aspect ratio, I'm gonna change to make sure that it's still a perfect square. When I click on OK, here's my new headshot, all right? Something weird happened with my nose there. I don't know what that was, if that was in the resizing. So let's see if we go all the way back out and let's try another, well, there's no try. Let's select another section. Let's go a little wider, maybe get a little bit more of that tie in there. All right, so, and again, you're just kind of maneuvering around until you get to the point where you feel it looks good and you're centered in the screen and your numbers are exactly the same. So I need to go up a little bit to get to 229, to 229, there we go, let's crop that. And then let's resize pixels. And again, 360 by 360, click on OK. My nose still gets a little bit pixelated, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm even zooming this at 100%. That is 100%. Let's see what it looks like when I upload it. So I'm gonna go to File, Save As. Maybe I just have a weird nose and no one ever told me. So we're gonna call this, instead of my original headshot, let's call this the Command Headshot 2019 and save that. And then I can come into Command and I can click on Upload. I can choose this photo, click on Open, and there is my new headshot. Now, if I like the other one that I had better, I could just choose not to save. However, I do want to save this, so I'm going to come down to the bottom and click on Save. And there we go. So my marketing profile is now successfully saved. This is my new headshot that's going to show up on all of my marketing materials. I had already put in the correct size for my team logo, so that's going to be fine. 
and yet if you're uploading your team logo and it's not the correct size, you can use the exact same steps that we just did to make sure that it's a perfect square and then resize it to 360 by 360. That's pretty much it guys. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Can't wait to see all of your marketing profiles come out perfect. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always send me an email or hit me up on Facebook. And uh, until the next video, I look forward to talking to you then. Thanks so much guys.